and welcome to another episode of Hashtag Get Lit. My name is Kimberly Olson, also known as the Gold Digger Girl. And in this training, we are going to do a Trello 101 tutorial. So Trello, but you haven't quite been able to figure it out. We're getting a little frustrated, but you can see the potential. This training is for you. To be honest, the first time I was invited to use Trello, my operations director, Anna, director Anna Bearfield, added me to the board to manage our projects. And sometimes I would get an email that she'd done something in the board, and I would go in there and I wouldn't know how to use the board at all. And so I would just like email her back. <laughs> Like I never participated on the board. I would just like privately email her. So I, you know, I was not born with a cell phone in my hand. This stuff doesn't come easy to me either, but I'm always willing to learn. And that's why I wanted to pass this along to you as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and we are going to look at a blank Trello board together. Okay. So um, let me just show you a kind of what it looks like, what, what it, you can actually do with it when you're done. Um, here's a template for a social media content calendar I have that people can use to, you know, build out and plan out their social media, but you can just see how visually appealing it is and how you can just plan things. You know, that's the whole point is to be able to plan out your content. If you're in network marketing, online marketing, you do coaching, you can use it to actually use use it to um, track your leads. Here's a leads list. It's just a demo, but you can use it for your leads list. You can use it for project management, like I talked talked about, communication with a team. You can use it for planning out your team trainings. I mean, there's so many things you can do with it, okay? So up in the corner, it says new. So first you need to get a Trello account. So if you're ever invited to a Trello board and you can't get on it for some reason, it's because you, are, you don't have an account. So set up an account, it's free. And then first, so I just chose add a board. And so we're gonna call this YouTube. No, we'll call this um, Trello. I don't even know what this means. No team. And then we're going to do public because I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to put the link below. I need to make a note of that. That'll be really cool. Then you can just use this to play around with. Okay. All right. So here we go. We are going to create a board because I'm going to show you how to change the background and everything. Okay, so here's our board. Now, I personally, I don't, I'm really visual. So I, right away, I'm just like, I can't, I can't handle this. So over here on this, I'm trying to look around my webcam. Okay, so see over here about this board. When you click it, it's, it, there's options here. So we're going to go to change background. And then go to photos. And you can actually, I think you can add your own, but I use Unsplash. So I'll just type in girl boss just for fun. Okay. Oh, curl boss right there. Okay. But let's say we want to do this one right here. Actually, I like this one down here. That's kind of fun. Okay. So this is what we choose for our background. And then we're just going to X out of there. Okay. You can, um, over here, the only other thing I want you to see is about this board. It tells you, um, don't worry about power ups or anything like that. Show menu. Oh, my thing's in the way. Um, more. Okay. And then when you click more, there's other things here and you can make this a template. You can copy it. So if you do have a team or other people you work with, they can copy it. And then there's a URL. Okay. Just make sure it's on public. If you want to let other people copy your board, if it's on public and you let you give them a link to it, they can't change your master. Okay. So like I'm giving you a copy of this. You can't change my master, but you can make your own. So don't worry about people messing with your stuff. Okay. So over here is our, this is the name of our board, which you can change. If you put a star, it's going to show up at the top of your home screen uh, where you saw all my different boards. It's going to show up there, which I would recommend because I have a lot of boards. You can change it to private if you want it to just be you and your team. And then invite, you can invite people to it. So we're going to invite Anna. I don't think it showed you guys her name, did it? Okay. And you can do like a customized thing here, okay? You can also invite with a link and create a link if you want to. If you don't know the username, then you can create an invite link and then just manually send it to them. 
And then over here, this is, so the way Trello is set up, it's basically cards. So there's cards within each, which, within each list. So this is your board. So think of Pinterest, right? On Pinterest, you have a board where you put all your recipes. So this is my Trello board. So let's say I'm gonna use this for recipes, okay? So uh, this right here is the board and then we're gonna make lists. So let's say we're gonna do a Trello board with recipes and we're gonna do salads, okay? So the list is all the salads. And then we're like, okay, desserts, right? So whatever your different things are, okay. And then the below each list, you're gonna build out the items of the list are called cards. So see how it says add a card? So inside of it, you're gonna call it something. So we'll say um, Greek salad, okay? Just click out anywhere and it's gonna close it out for you. One thing I really like about Trello, it saves everything in real time all the time. You don't have to worry about losing things. It's really, really easy to use. So you click it once to open it, or if you double click, it'll open. So click it once or double click, it's gonna open, or you can hit the little edit tool, okay? And then there's different things you can do here. You can edit this, um, you, you know, it's a little bit advanced, but I'm just checking the time because this is gonna be under 10 minutes. So we're gonna click inside, and then you can make a description. So it could be uh, ingredients, and then you can put, you know, mixed greens or whatever and then you type your stuff now if I want someone to see something that's a part of this board that's how we use it a lot but you might if it's just for you use it that much use the at symbol and then when I get Anna in here um, then I would tag her on that okay now the cool thing is when I tag her she gets an email. awesome okay you can save it and now that's saved on there you can also add a cover so I think the covers are really helpful because um, you can actually upload them from your computer. So we're just gonna say salad, and we're just gonna grab one right here, okay? And now it's the cover. So if you were planning out your recipes, wouldn't that be more exciting to see the picture there than just words? I mean, it's amazing. Okay, let me see if there's other things I wanna show you in here. So cover has really been helpful for me. Description, activity, you can just put, you know, um, if there's any little things you wanted to add to this, like made salad, had left, had enough for leftovers. Okay. And you can add files, you can tag people, you can do emojis or add a card, okay? And then um, labels is really, really important, okay? So with labels, you can color code everything. So if we want to edit this, we're gonna call green could be, um, let's see. oh, I know, green could be lunch. And then um, we're gonna make this lunch. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 no. Did I ruin it? Okay, another label could be, um, let's edit it and then we'll call it breakfast. So at a glance, you can label things. So that way you know right away, oh, that was supposed to be dinner, but you get the point. So we can label it. And then on here, you're like, yellow means breakfast. We're gonna have a Greek salad for breakfast. Are you excited? Okay, so I might go slightly over. I don't think you're gonna care because we're just gonna let that go. Hashtag get lit in less than 10 minutes unless it's Trello tutorial. <laughs> okay, so you've got your labels and then you can create a new label, blah, 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 and you can add a little description there. Now this is so cool. Checklist, you can add a checklist in here. Okay, so we're gonna add a checklist. And if you were working on your business, you could check things off, post it on social media, when you know shared in my stories followed up on people like you could i have all those boards built out so just stick with me i've got all of those done i have templates for everything if you're in any of my programs you usually get usually get the trello boards okay so let's say we're going to do ingredients and we are going to or it could even be checklist for um place all ingredients in so that's our checklist, okay? So we list everything out. Well, when you check it, once you've done everything on the checklist, it's green. So it's one for one, it could be five for five. So let's say you want a friend request 20 people a day, you could have 20 right there. And then when you do all 20, you just check it and it turns green. Or at a glance, you can go, oh, I've done 10 out of 20, I need a friend request 10 more people. So I know I'm using recipes for an example to keep it really simple, but you can use this for your business. That's what we use it for. And then the other neat thing is that you can use it due dates. And this is really helpful if you have people to follow up with. So if you, um, actually what I'll do is I'll pull up a different board so you can see. 
Right here's my my prospecting tracker demo. So on this pretend example, I have people I've put on here that have commented on a curiosity post of mine. I'm putting people who didn't respond here. People who are people. This is where exposed as people I've actually shared what I do with. Now let we've got Anna Bearfield out here on again. So let's say I'm talking to Anna and I share with her I'm with a beauty company and I sell um, I sell a makeup cleaner. And Anna's like, oh, that sounds really interesting. Um, I'm actually getting ready to go out of town, but I would love to hear more. Can you connect with me when I get back? Sure. Well, you're going to forget that. Let's be serious. So what you can do is over here under due date is pick a date when she gets back and then set the reminder and it's going to know. So if you are consistent with this, you literally could have Trello telling you what to do. Trello is going to tell you who you need to follow up with, who you need to check in with. Okay. Now, another important piece is the ability to drag the people around, <laughs> not literally, but on the Trello board. So if you have this, this list right here of people who have commented on a, on a post, and let's say I talked to Sherry and uh, we connected in Messenger and I, I shared with her what I do. After I share with Sherry, I'm putting her under exposed until she responds. So you just grab it and drag it grab it and drag it. I mean, how amazing is that? Pretty cool, right? So Sherry says, um, yeah, I'll, I'd love to hear more about that. Then I'm going to send her something. So maybe I send her a video or whatever. I'm going to drag her over to send the video, maybe make a note, you know, send her um, video about And now I have my notes on what video I sent her. And then I can make an, I could even do a due date for that. Okay. With her tomorrow and make sure I remember because I don't want to just assume she's going to follow up with me. She might get busy. I'm going to make sure to build, have that built in follow up. Right. So that day is going to, I'm going to get a notification tomorrow if I don't reach out and then you just move people along. So this is called the sales funnel. So you just move people along. But the, the beauty of, of Trello is there's an app. It's really easy to use. So let's say you're out and about and you think of someone, you can just drop it on your Trello board or let's say uh, Sherry does message me back and I chat with her in Messenger while I'm, you know, in the preschool, you know, line at or kindergarten drop off or whatever. Then, of course, while I'm parked, I can put it in my Trello board on my app that I talk to her and I can move her right then and there. Because how many times do you connect with someone, you're out and about and you forget, or you've got pieces of paper everywhere? I mean, the, it does take a minute to figure out, but once you have it down, Trello is life. I'm not even kidding you. It can transform your business and you have real numbers to look at. You're not just guessing to see if you're actually working your business. And I know it takes a minute to figure out, but if you're not going to take the time to figure this out, how are you going to take the time to build your business? I mean, really? Okay. So if you like this video, even though I'm being a little sassy, if you like this video, please click the subscribe button, hit the bell. Every time I release a new video, they're usually under 10 minutes. You will get a notification that I have a new video. And if once you subscribe, please comment below. I subscribed. I'd love to give you a virtual high five. And if you use Trello for business, please share below that you do use it and what you are using it for. And if this video is helpful, please comment on that as well. So until next time, go out there and get lit in your business and set your soul on fire. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.